Hello friends, welcome to jQuery video tutorial series. In the previous video tutorial, we started discussing steps to use jQuery or how to use jQuery. We are going to follow four simple steps. The first step is download the jQuery file. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss downloading jQuery file or how to be download jQuery file. One of the most important points to remember is jQuery is not a part of JavaScript language. It is not a part of JavaScript language. It is not built inside the JavaScript engine. It is an external library. jQuery is an external JavaScript library. To use jQuery, we must download it first. To download the jQuery, visit http colon double forward slash jQuery dot com forward slash download forward slash. Once you visit to this location, click on download the compressed production jQuery 3.2.1 link and click on download the uncompressed development jQuery 3.2.1 link. Once you click on both of these links, two files are going to get download to the default download location. The first file is going to have the name jQuery-3.2.1.min.js and another file is going to have the name jQuery-3.2.1.js The first file is going to have the name jQuery-3.2.1.min.js Min means minified or compressed. The minified file is the compressed file whereas the another file is uncompressed file. Both are JavaScript files only. Both are going to be JS files. Both are going to have the same source code. Both are going to have the same source code. There is no difference in the source code. The only difference is from the jQuery-3.1.min.js that is from the compressed jQuery file unnecessary spaces, unnecessary indentations, unnecessary special characters are actually removed. As unnecessary spaces, unnecessary indentations, unnecessary special characters are removed from the compressed jQuery file it is going to take only 84 KB file size whereas the uncompressed jQuery file is going to take 261 KB file size. You can see here I have downloaded both jQuery files. The first file you can see jQuery-3.2.1.min the another one is just jQuery-3.2.1 both are JS files, both are JavaScript files. If I right click on jquery 3.2.1.min which is a compressed file right click save properties you can see that it is taking 84.6 KB file size as well as I right click on jQuery-3.2.1 that is uncompressed file save properties you can see it is taking 261 KB file size there is a lot difference in the file size right the another difference is we can very easily read and understand the code available in the uncompressed file I right click on uncompressed file, say open with the word pad, say run. You can see that there is a lot space available as well as the proper indentation is available. We can very easily read and understand the code available in the uncompressed file. Whereas if I right click the compressed file, say open with the word pad, say run. You can see there are no extra white spaces. There is no proper indentation in the code, right? We cannot read and understand the code easily. That is the difference. As unnecessary spaces, unnecessary indentations are removed, the minified version or the compressed jQuery file is going to take lesser file size than the uncompressed file. As it takes the lesser file size, we can utilize the network bandwidth. That is the reason the jQuery min.js file is going to be used in production. I hope you guys have clearly understood where to download the jQuery file and what is the difference between the minified and uncompressed jQuery files. As both are going to have the same source code, we need not to use both of them in our applications. We can use any one of them. I am going to use jQuery min or the minified version of the jQuery file in this video tutorial series. So I can delete the other file. There is no problem if I delete the other file. So I just select it, say shift delete, say yes. We are going to use the jQuery-3.2.1.min.js file in this video tutorial series to understand jQuery. 
I suggest you people to visit this location and download the minified version. If you want you can download the uncompressed file also. You can use any one of them that is your wish. Okay, but in this video tutorial series, I'm going to use the jQuery-3.1.min.js. For this video tutorial, this much is enough friends. In the next video tutorial, we follow the next step. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.